I'm actually a medium. No way. Mm -hmm. I am, yes. Are you serious? How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been a medium since I guess I was born. You know, like there's a car driving down the street. You know, there's a telephone pole. There's dead people. It's like that. just part of my reality. Do you see them? I can sometimes, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'll be honest. I mean, I don't really believe that. What is it you're actually seeing? When you guys got in the car, for example, like mm -hmm. somebody's dead grandmother got in with them. This might be more connected to you, I feel. It's on the paternal side of the family. Yes. Very strong energy, very loving energy. And I see the letter N. Oh, my God. Her name was Nadine. OK. Your grandma's saying about her dogs or something. I don't know. Um, but she's showing me like you'd walk in and there would be dogs yes. there. Are the dogs with her? Yeah, there's two dogs with her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Was there a cat that was called Kitty? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Um, I think, yeah, there is a, there is a cat with her that oh, she's... Oh, God. And she also keeps bringing up something about her teeth. I don't know if she had <laughs> something with teeth or... Yeah. This, yeah. Oh, my God. After she passed, I went into my dad's bathroom and I found her teeth at the day of her funeral. I feel like she was one of the main people you've lost in your life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was very close to her. It was just so hard to lose her. It really was because she was just always my rock. She just got me through every every phase of my life. She, uh, okay, I understand. Hold on. She's saying she wants you to connect more with your dad. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it's almost like yes, a, it's yeah. true. It's true. Um, okay. I mean, he's lonely. Yeah, I'm feeling like she's saying she wants you to reach out to him. She wants you to keep the family together and stuff. It's almost like you're the one that can do this or something. Yes. Um, she'll guide you in the right direction. I really feel she will. Oh, my gosh. I see your broken parts. My parents divorced when I was really little, and uh, my dad was really sad for a lot of years. He was very lonely. He never really moved on from his original family, which was me and my mom. Every second feels like hours. I always felt like I was the only thing that he had. And I feel like I kind of deserted him. I don't go home as much as I used to. It's just hard with the kids and work and my schedule. I think my grandmother telling me to connect with him more. That's her way of telling me he needs me, which is my gut feeling. Yeah.